Thank you. You may be seated. All right. Council uh, has to, given the protections that are available here and uh, just to aid in hearing, uh, if you wish to remove your masks, you may. Not for the audience. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. We're in session in the matter of State of South Dakota versus Jason Ronsberg. And... Mr. Wrench, uh, you are appearing here on behalf of Mr. Ronsberg. I am, Your Honor, and I have an advisement of rights form. Uh, Can I see that, please? All right. Uh, Mr. Ronsberg has signed this advisement of rights statement indicating that he has been informed and is aware of all of his constitutional and statutory rights with respect to the case before us. He is charged, of course, with three counts. Uh, count one of operating a motor vehicle while using a mobile electronic device. Count two, improper lane driving. And count three, careless driving. Each of these charges is a class two misdemeanor, each carrying a maximum penalty of 30 days in the county jail, fine of $500 or both. And, of course, uh, those could be charged cumulatively. In the advisement of rights statement, uh, this is a, an initial appearance, and typically uh, at this point uh, it appears that Mr. Ronsberg has indicated within the form that he intends to plead not guilty. Uh, I guess we can jump ahead to arraignment if that is the party's wish at this time. That is. We might as well do that since we're all here, Your Honor. Well, then, uh, given... Mr. Ronsberg has indicated that he has been fully advised of his constitutional and statutory rights with respect to the charges, is aware of the charges against him. He is represented by counsel, and uh, Mr. Wrench, on behalf of Mr. Ronsberg, uh, he, of course, has the right to plead not guilty and to have a trial, and it's my understanding that is your intent. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. At this point, we'd enter a not guilty plea, and we would ask that the court set this matter out for a status hearing in 60 days so that we can go through the discovery. In some cases, there's a mountain of discovery. In this case, there's a mountain range of discovery, literal uh, computer drives and everything. So uh, it's important for us to be able to go through all that, and I'd request a status hearing 60 days out, Your Honor. And counsel for the state? Your Honor, we have no objection to a 60-day uh, time span for review of discovery and to uh, have a status hearing at that point in time. The so I, being a retired judge, have not, uh, staff or control of the calendar myself. I don't know what uh, is available specifically. 60 days out is going to put us mid-May. Uh, I think the best way to deal with this is just uh, uh, by email. Uh, the dates that will work for you, my dates are pretty open, so uh, I'll be working with the uh, your schedules primarily to uh, see what's available. But uh, if uh, upon your return home, if you would look at your calendars and see what's available uh, in the middle part of May, we can schedule that for status at that time. Is there anything else to come before us right now? Nope. Nothing further, Your Honor. State. All right. We will be in recess. Thank you.